Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future, answering the question what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages, which we will jump into in just a second. Um, and then I have the overall theme for the reading already pulled as well. But I do have the tarot deck we'll be using and then the decks that we'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone. So do please remember to take what does resonate and helps your personal personal situation and leave what does not. All right, Pisces, you guys have been dealing, going through it a little bit. In your recent past, you have changes with the tower. Um, pretty intense changes taking place in your recent past. You know, the tower is a very emotionally charged event, seemingly feeling as if everything is crumbling. So definitely going through some pretty, like I said, pretty intense changes. Though, I think you'll see in this reading that these changes are actually maybe for the best, even if you can't see it yet. If you watch my channel, you know that I am a big Opponent of everything is happening for you, not to you, if you choose to believe it in that way. Um, obviously, when you're going through things that are incredibly difficult and incredibly challenging, that's not so easy to see when you're in the middle of a journey. So I'm not here to downplay anyone's journey or to invalidate the way that you feel. I'm here to try to provide a little bit of bigger perspective and hope on the situation. In your current energy, you have cleansing with the magician in reverse. So this is what's interesting, is you're in this phase right now um, of cleansing yourself in some way, shape, or form to be able to create the life you truly desire in some way, shape, or form. So it could be cleansing of health. Um, it could be cleansing of uh, like material cleansing, like you, you're losing things that don't really serve you. It could be letting go of people that don't really serve you. Like you're definitely in this phase of your life right now where you're kind of being pushed by the universe in a way to um, cleanse out the things that are actually holding you back and keeping you from being able to, um, like I said, live the life that you're truly desiring of. Now, in your immediate future, you have meant to be with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. I love this message because this is like the like most direct way that I think that... <laughs> Um, I could have gotten the message that nothing is meant for you will ever pass you. Because what I, like with this meant to be card, I do feel as if the abundance that you truly desire, the life you truly desire, what is truly meant for you um, is meant to be. Which means nothing can stand in the way of that except for you. And so when you can kind of look at it from that perspective, you can start to, to figure out what you need to do in order to get there, right? Attract it, receive it. Now the Five of Pentacles in reverse, regardless of what you've lost, it doesn't mean that you've lost the ability to have what it is that you desire. Um, to, to be happy, to be healthy, to be fulfilled. Um, it might not feel like that right now because again, you're in this cleansing phase. So you're probably experiencing uh, maybe a little bit of the opposite. But I do feel as if that's going to, it's almost like it's making room for what's really meant for you. Because the overall theme for the reading is release control. Which is hard to do. You know, we cling to things, to situations, to habits, to thoughts, to beliefs, um, because they give us that false sense of, of control that makes us feel safe, right? So when we release control and put it all in the hands of the universe, that can be really scary because we can think that, you know, or, or well, it allows our fear to start to creep in, first of all, which allows us to start to think our worst case scenarios are coming true. You know, we're never going to be happy. You know, just because I lost this relationship, now that means that I'm never going to be loved. Or because I lost this job, it means that I'm going to end up broken, homeless on the street. You know, we have a tendency to say just because things, you know, changed or didn't work out the way that I expected, that means enter worst case scenario. Um, but that's never the case. You know, the majority of what we worry about never even really happens. I think there's an actual percentage of that. It's like, it's, it's, it's up there of like most of the things that we worry about don't ever actually happen. But that doesn't mean that your fear and what you're feeling isn't valid. Point of this reading is to give you a little bit of a, a, like I said, bigger picture perspective on everything. So let's dive into your recent past energy. Recent past for Pisces clarifying changes with the tower. 
Recent pass for Pisces clarifying changes with the tower. You were determined to make something work here in your recent past. Seven of Wands, Two of Cups. You were determined um, to make something work. But with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, that's not what happened. Whatever you were determined, it, it didn't go that way. Um, determination can be a really good thing, right? It's a fantastic quality to have, but just like anything, too much of, of a good thing can be a bad thing. And I feel as if this determination to make something work turned into forcing things that were out of your control or trying to force things that were out of your control. We all have a tendency to do that. Um, you know, when we really want a relationship to work and we're doing our best to make it work, you know, that's fantastic. But when we start investing in it out of the hopes that the other person is going to change, that's when, you know, again, that, that's when we start to control things that we can't. Um, and that can be applied to so many different situations. This does not have to be a love reading. In fact, I encourage you to think of it um, on a bigger picture, bigger picture perspective. But I do feel like you had this determination. Um, you had like, like almost determination to a fault in the sense that I feel like you uh, sacrificed your own needs a little bit for the sake of something. But... With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, things didn't turn out like you expect. Seemingly negative changes took place. But this card to me means blessing in disguise. Like that's how I've always read this in tarot. Um, so even if you can't see it yet, I do feel like things are working out for the best. Again, I kind of, you know, I mentioned that at the beginning of the reading. I'm only always cautious in saying that because I know that can be really triggering when you're in places where you're like, how the hell is this working out for me? Um, but again, just trying to provide... Bigger picture perspective here. All right, recent past for Pisces. Okay, recent past for Pisces. I want it to flip all the way over or hit the table like that. Um, You had this idea about what something can be. You know, the moon to me, yes, it represents fear, but it can also represent like illusion. I feel like you had this idea of what things could be if things played out the way that you were determined to make them play out. And you latched onto that idea. We all do it. It makes plenty of sense why you did. And slowly but surely, I feel like it felt as if things were maybe progressing toward that, which made you latch on harder. But then I feel like as time went on, nothing really ever changed or like nothing ever really manifested in the way that you were wanting it to or things fell apart. Um, now, sometimes we hold on to this idea of what we want things to be so much so that we stop doing what's best for us because we think that if things don't go the way that we want them to, that we're never going to be happy or we're not going to get what it is that we deserve and desire. That's why in your immediate future, you have this idea that nothing is meant for you will ever pass you. But I do feel as if, because with the Ten of Wands in reverse, it can be that it's the need to, um, you know, drop the burdens of others. I feel like you are taking on a lot more than you could carry in your recent past. And I feel as if you thought that that eventually was going to get you to where you were trying to go. Again, we've all been there. We all have a tendency to do that. But I do feel like that ended up kind of coming back to bite you a little bit in the end because you, you put all this energy into effort into something. You were super determined. You, you know, were willing to do whatever it took to make it happen. You had this idea of what things could be. But then it's like the illusion pop, like the illusion bubble popped in a way, like I don't know if it was, I don't want to call it a reality check because that, that sounds harsh, but it's almost like the universe showed you what was really going on, like showed you 
the truth behind this situation, which made things really difficult. And why I, that's why I think that things were very emotionally charged is because you thought they were one way, they ended up being another way or turning out another way, and it made you kind of go, what the heck, you know. Um, but re more for Pisces' recent past. Recent past for Pisces, please. Yes, that moon card does represent kind of that dreamy um, Pisces energy, you know. Strength, two of pentacles in reverse. I talked about how you were carrying more than you could hold. I feel like we have to remember, and this is a really difficult um concept of the human existence in my opinion but just because you can handle something does not mean you should have to and it doesn't mean you need to I feel as if you maybe were aware that you weren't getting what it is that you needed or like you were aware that you were caring too much or you were like I don't feel like there's a complete lack of awareness of your situation by any means I feel like you probably were like yeah I'm you know I'm determined to make this work you know I'm maybe the one putting in the most of the work or you know I don't know like you were aware that you weren't getting what you needed. But I feel like you kept prioritizing it because of that idea you had of it. Makes per perfect sense, right? Because you, you know, you do have the strength to carry it. You do have the strength to hold it. You did have, it's like in your mind, you were like, I have the strength to make this happen. And though that is true, your strength can only, like, okay, I, want, I don't want to say your strength can only take you so far because your strength can take you very, very far. But when you are pouring from an empty cup or when you are in situations where you are consistently being undervalued or getting the short end of the stick or, you know, not having what it is that you need, eventually that strength is going to run out. Like you're going to find yourself going, I cannot do this anymore because you're going to get burnt out. You're going to be, you know, you're not going to have any energy to give to anybody else because you barely have any to give to yourself. And I feel like that's kind of where you were headed in a way. Because with this two of pentacles in reverse, it's like you were, you were determined because you knew you were capable. But like, it's like, okay, it's like you're in a relationship with someone. And I keep, I, this doesn't have to be a love rating. I know I keep relating it back to love. But you're in a relationship. You're aware maybe they're not being treated very well. Or you're aware that... Um, this person isn't necessarily giving you what it is that you need, need or desire, but you continue to invest in it and you continue to give to it because you have this idea of what it could be, um, you know, if you got to a certain point, right? You have this kind of illusion of, of how things could be if, if, if things progressed in the way that you, you wanted them to. And you continue to take on this burden of being treated poorly or not getting enough. Um, and again, this doesn't have to just apply to relationships. This could also be about a career path, right? You, you know you're not getting treated well in a certain career path, but you continue to take, um, you know, how you're being treated because you, you can handle it. You can actually physically handle it. But no matter how strong you are, when you're in places that ultimately you don't belong but that really don't serve you, you it's going to wear on you. And it doesn't mean that you are not a strong person. It doesn't mean that you're weak. It doesn't mean that you're incapable or that you're deserving of any less. It literally just means that you're human. Because you you carried so much and, and you know bur burdened yourself with so much and have been for so long that there's this part of you that is like, I cannot do this anymore. I cannot take it anymore. I don't have the ability to put up with this anymore. And I feel like that's why... Um, this tower kind of took place, whether or not you were the one who initiated it or not. You know, I feel as if it was maybe divinely guided or in some way, shape or form, the universe kind of stepped in with some divine intervention and said, things got to change. And so that's why these changes took place was because this situation or whatever this is talking about, it just, it isn't reflecting your worth to you. It isn't reflecting what it is you're truly um, capable of, of experiencing. Current energy for Pisces, clarifying, cleansing with the magician in reverse. Current energy for Pisces, clarifying, cleansing with the magician in reverse, please. All right. Current energy for Pisces, please.
there's so much you don't know right now. So Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Emperor in Reverse could be dealing with an earth sign if this is a love reading and or even if this is like a like a career reading this could be like your boss is an earth sign or but you know I like to everyone in our life is a reflection of our relationship with ourselves so I'm going to take it down to that level and talk more about the uh, the underlying energy because you know the king of pentacles to me speaks of circumstances you know what your life looks like what you define as your stability what you look at as like your circumstances, the best way to describe it. There's this part of you that's very, very afraid of the unknown, which, again, human being stuff, right? We're all very afraid of the unknown, and we all handle that in our own ways. Now, learning to embrace the unknown with faith and taking steps in the direction towards what it is that you're truly deserving of, it takes a lot of guts and a lot of determination and willpower to leave behind your control. This is the Emperor in Reverse is an energy of, of control. You know, you have released control. Right now, you're in this energy of experiencing the unknown. You know, not knowing. It, it, there's either changes that have taken place or need to take place. And you're either afraid to make those changes because of the unknown, or you're now in the unknown because those changes have taken place. And I feel as if that the unknown right now that you're in, that's that period of cleansing that I'm talking about. It's like you're being... You're releasing this energy that doesn't serve you. And again, in some way, shape, or form, whether it's in the form, like I said, of relationships or career, whatever the case is. To you, I feel like it feels like you're experiencing great loss. And I'm not saying that you're not, but I do feel as if this loss that you're experiencing or this change that you're having to go through is actually pushing you in more so in like into your path and your purpose in some way shape or form um I, I keep saying in some way shape or form because I feel like this could apply to so many different situations like I I feel like most people because I do I do know that my love readings get the most views on my channel I think most people tend to take my my readings um in the form of relationship readings but if there's anything that I've learned it's the energy that affects one area of your life is absolutely affecting other areas of your life too so um Keep that in mind, but okay. Current energy for Pisces. It's like there's so much you don't know right now, and to you that sparks a lot of fear, but it's actually like you're opening the door for what's really meant for you. Current energy for Pisces. There's the Magician in reverse. And then there's the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, okay. Okay. Okay, so there is a part of you that has this if I can't have what I lost or what I would lose if I make these changes, then I don't want anything else. And I've been there and I super get that. But that also limits yourself and in terms of what it is that you are truly capable of experiencing. When I lost, um, I lost, I went through a phase where I, I pretty much lost everything. And I spent a couple of years sulking <laughs> in the fact that I was like, you know, what's the point in trying? I don't ever want to rebuild my life again. You know, I, I lost relationships that I thought I'd never be able to replace. I lost, um, you know, a career that I thought I'd never be able to, to reestablish. And not that I ever replace those relationships because those relationships will always hold a special place in my heart. Not that I necessarily even reestablish the same career, but I found a better path, a more suitable path and a more fulfilling path for myself through that process. Um, but for a very long time, I was like, you know, if I can't have this life that I've lost, then what's the point? And it, and it put me into a, a pretty tough place. I think that we all have a tendency to do that whenever life changes, is that we think that the way that it's changing means that our happiness exists behind us or our potential exists behind us or, you know, um, ultimately what is meant for us has passed us. And that is never true, though it doesn't make the experience any less valid. So what I'm getting at with this energy 
that I'm seeing because with the hermit in reverse, it's kind of like that withdrawal, right? Removing yourself from the from the situation. I feel like, you know, certain aspects of what you've been investing in, certain aspects of your energy have kept you back, have held you back from what it is that's truly meant for you. To you, you feel like the way that things are changing means that you have lost what's meant for you. Makes a lot of sense why you feel that way. But that mindset is going to keep you from being able to attract what it is that you are what is actually meant for you because that is what this is saying like same five of pentacles in reverse right here same magician in reverse right here what you, what you, what has been holding you back in some way shape or form has kept you from being able to manifest what is truly meant for you and so again i feel like to you it feels like you're losing the opportunity or you've lost the opportunity or like you can never go back to how things once were that's absolutely not true you just have to let go of your control a little bit and learn learn to lean into the faith that the universe is supporting you um, on the path to what it is that is truly meant for you. You know, on some soul level, you've signed a soul contract to exist in this experience and experience the things that you are for a bigger reason and for a bigger purpose. Um, I think that when things happen to us that are negative, it can make it feel it can feel like cruel and unusual punishment. You know, why am I put here to suffer? Why am I put here to go through this? But when you learn to look at things from that perspective of everything is happening for you, not to you, and you get to the other side of whatever it is that you're dealing with, you can always look back and say, I see now. I see why that had to happen. You know, I'm not sitting here saying you should be grateful for every negative experience that happened to you. You know, what I dealt with, I don't ever want to go back and experience that again, but I now understand why it had to happen. And I, you know, learning what I did from it has led me to the life I'm currently living, which is um, actually better than the place that I was in for a really long time. So, uh, you know, everything really does have a purpose in our life. And the more that we can, we can try our hardest to lean into that purpose, even if it feels like you know, incredibly difficult to do so, the more that we start to create and build that faith that things are, are happening for us. Current energy for Pisces. Current energy for Pisces, please. Yeah, because I feel like you're, feel, you're not feeling very strong right now. You're not feeling very strong. That's okay. You don't have to feel strong. That's why... You know, having a spiritual connection, being able to lean on something bigger than you is so vitally important throughout this journey is because you are going to have periods of your life where you you feel lost and stuck and unsure and uncertain and like you have nothing left to give. It is a part of the human experience. It's going to happen. But those moments, that's when you, you can actually just, you know, let go. Let go and allow yourself to go with the flow of life and understand that, yes, the experience that you're existing in, um, it, it, it doesn't feel good. It isn't making you happy. It isn't exactly what it is that you desire, but it's happening for a reason and everything is temporary. I think learning that every thing, single thing that we experience and feel is temporary is one of the um, hardest but also most freeing truths of this experience to accept because once we can say, you know, everything is temporary, then you really truly enjoy the things that are good and you don't dwell so much on the th on times when they're not so good because yes, you're experiencing it and you're moving through it, but it also isn't going to last forever. You don't have to feel strong right now. You just have to know that everything's going to be okay. Immediate future for Pisces clarifying meant to be with the five of pentacles in reverse. Immediate future for Pisces, clarifying meant to be with the five of pentacles in reverse. Immediate future for Pisces, please. gotta let go Pisces um, I will never be a reader that gives out predictions because predictions rely on so many different factors and they're never guaranteed what my goal with my readings is is to show you what you need to know about your immediate future to um, experience the best possible outcome for yourself so that's the goal for my immediate future readings this control that you're holding on to of how you think things should be, how you think things should go, you know, the determination to um, force something or force 
um, something that isn't working or something that isn't making you happy or something that isn't proving that it, it's worthy of your time and energy, uh, it's keeping you stuck in a cycle. And that cycle is you not being able to experience what it is that is truly meant for you and ultimately what it is that you're truly deserving of. So I sit here and say, you got to let go, Pisces, as if that's something I've mastered. I have not. You know, I think learning to let go is a lifelong process. And it, you know, it happens little by little in moments where we kind of, like I said, are being pushed to. And you're definitely in that phase right now. The more you let go, the more you trust, the more you allow yourself to be in this experience, understanding that first and foremost, it's happening for a reason. Second of all, your happiness does not exist behind you. And third of all, um, that you are being guided to exactly where you're supposed to be. Those three things, you know, being able to lean on those truths, um, it can, it can save you a lot of agony, ultimately, when you're going through changes. Because changes are inevitable. It is one of the things that is um, absolutely certain about life, is that there is no certainty. But that doesn't mean that it's, it's a bad thing. It's just learning to lean into the idea that everything is happening um, for you, not to you. Immediate future for Pisces. Immediate future for Pisces. Something to be aware of moving forward is learning to separate your emotion from truth. Your emotions are going to be what's giving you insight into like how your brain is processing everything, you know, what it is you're thinking, obviously how you're feeling, but your emotions are never truths. You know, again, it kind of goes back to what I was saying. Whenever things change, we have a tendency to, to have this part of us that says, oh my gosh, everything is ending, or my life is over, or I'm never going to be happy again. Those are your emotions, and your emotions tend to have a field day whenever things are very out of your control, um, those negative emotions. Now, when we allow our emotions to dictate our movements, choices, and decisions, to dictate our actions, that is where we start to sabotage our life. Um, this goes back to what I was kind of saying about how everything is temporary. Every emotion that you experience is temporary. Every bout of anxiety, of sadness, of, um, of guilt, of whatever it is, is always temporary. And the more that you allow yourself to experience those emotions without doing something in the middle of them, I always say you never want to make decisions or do anything when you're in a heightened emotional state, whether it's negative or positive. Um, if you're feeling overwhelming euphoria, don't make any decisions. If you're feeling um, overwhelming like depression or sadness, don't make decisions. Allow those moments to pass until you get back to a grounded, neutral state. Because if you can learn to do that, that's where you kind of start to master your mind a little bit and start to learn to follow divine guidance instead of emotional guidance. Now, when you're, you know, when you're in the middle of change, your emotions are going to have uh, are going to be more heightened naturally. But the, you know, with the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Wands here in reverse, you want to make sure that f how you feel does not overpower what you, like, know on a soul level. So, for instance, I feel really sad about this relationship ending, but I know this isn't what's best for me, and I know this person didn't treat me like I deserved. Don't let the feeling feel the feeling, experience the feeling, validate the feeling, allow yourself to feel what you need to feel, but don't allow the feeling of, I'm so sad this relationship ended and I miss this person so much, make you make decisions that overpower, I know this person isn't good for me and isn't capable of giving me what I deserve because that's where we sabotage our our life. And it goes, it can go in any, any form of that. Um, Emotions are powerful, but they're not truth. And learning to allow yourself to experience them, feel them, process them without acting on them is absolutely key. Because what is meant for you is on the other side of you letting go of control and trying to force what isn't meant for you. That's essentially what this whole reading is about. But what you know, your emotions and your ego and the voice in your head is going to trick you into believing that what isn't meant for you is what you need in order to feel safe or secure or happy or whatever the case is because um, it's what it's used to. You know, your mind, your brain, your ego is used to the level of lack and loss and suffering that you're used to experience. 
experiencing and it's actually afraid of the abundance and love and success that you truly desire and so learning to again learning to to become aware of your experience instead of allowing yourself to become the experience is um is important immediate future for pisces immediate future for pisces please what is meant for you has not passed you whoa there it is what you deserve is on the other side of this devil. So I didn't bring up the devil. I just now realized in this, um, this message, but what the devil represents is being attached to a specific outcome to the extent where you start trying to force it. When you're so attached to how things, you know, to certain people or to how things have to be or to how you think they need to be or whatever the case is. When we attach ourselves to an outcome or the way that we think things need to be, we don't allow us to experience the way that things actually can be. Now to us, we think that that attachment is as good as it can get, but in reality, the universe always has you know, a plan in providing us what it is that we're truly deserving of, but we have to be willing to let go of our attachment to how things should be in order to receive that. Now, on the other side of this attachment, to whatever it is that you think you need that doesn't have the ability to provide you with what it is you deserve, is what you deserve. On the other side of the devil is the lovers, is what it is that you truly deserve. Now you might think that what you're currently attached to is the lovers, is what you deserve, but I feel like you're selling yourself short on what it is that you're actually deserving of, and that's another whole different um, topic of discussion. But what it is you deserve still exists. It's still possible. You can still have it. Um, it just might not look like what you think it will, and you might not get there in the way that you think you will. But those things don't really matter if what is meant for you doesn't pass you because with the five of pentacles in reverse, to me what this is saying is when you get to where you're meant to be, you won't look back and feel like you've lost anything at all. So, okay. We are gonna hop on over to the extended. I am going to dive deeper into these messages. This is where I focus more on the coaching side of my readings, focusing on what you need to do right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self. Thank you so much. Um, Pisces, as always, for your support of my channel, I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. All right, bye Pisces.